Hey guys, we are going to see if these problems have zero or no solution, one solution or infinite solutions. Okay. Now you're probably used to seeing one solution. That's when it's just X equals something. Okay. So I'm not showing you an example of one of those because you've probably been doing them. So one of these is going to be infinite solutions. One of them is going to be no solutions. Okay. And I think you will figure out the difference pretty quickly. So we are just trying to solve for X here, right? So I first want to get rid of these parentheses. I can't subtract these because they're not like terms, but I can multiply this three in using the distributive property. Okay. So three times three X gives me nine X nine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> three times negative one gives me negative three. Okay. I still have that plus one equals, and we still have 9x minus 2 over here, okay? All right, I'm going to combine like terms. So negative 3 plus 1 gives me negative 2, okay? So 9x minus 2 equals 9x minus 2. Uh-oh, what's happening here? Okay, you might be noticing something, but let's keep going. So I want to get everything together, the numbers and the x's. So I'm going to add two. Oh, look, my, they're gone on both sides. That doesn't really happen. So I have nine X equals nine X. Okay. I could divide by nine if I want to get X alone and I'm left with X equals X. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> that means there are infinite solutions, which means you could plug in any number for X and it'll work. What? That's exciting. So when you have a funny equation where you end up with something like this, it might not always be X equals X. You might get like four equals four. If you get something that's true, infinite solutions. Okay. So I bet you can guess what the answer to this one's going to be. Okay. But let's see what happens. So again, I want to get rid of these parentheses. So I am going to distribute the four in on that one and the negative four in on this one. Oh guys, I did Christmas colors. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Four times negative X gives me negative four X. Four times nine gives me 36. Okay. So that's that distributive multiplied. And then we still have the plus two on the back equals we're distributing this guy. Negative four times X gives me negative four X. Negative four times negative three gives me a positive 12. And then I still have that minus six on the back. Now, if you're like, why didn't she distribute the negative four to that negative six? Well, it's because the negative six isn't inside the parentheses, okay? So the negative four <clears throat> was only being multiplied by the X minus three, okay? All right, now we're gonna combine like terms on each side. So here I'm gonna have negative four X, 36 plus two gives me 38. And on this side, I still have the negative four X, 12 minus six gives me six. Okay, so now, okay, I'm starting to notice something funny here because I notice if I add four X to both sides to try to get my X's together, uh-oh, they're gonna cancel. And I'm going to be left with 38 equals six, which last time I checked is not true, right? <laughs> so if you get something like this where your X is canceled or, or something cancels and you're left with something that's not true, this means there is no solution, meaning there is no number you can plug in for X that will make this statement true. Okay. Okay. Hopefully that made sense and good luck. If you're doing some homework, good luck with that. If this video helped you, if you could hit the like button, that'd be awesome. Um, but hopefully that made sense. Bye.